Hey guys, how's it going? Entropy here today with another video. Today we're going to be doing Intro to Clans Part 1.5. So the reason why there's a 1.5 is because I did not previously really cover the uh, event clans, uh, such as Grand Blues, Spike Brothers, Neo Nectars, and the upcoming uh, Tachikaze and Mega Colony. So let's take a quick look at them and uh, see what they do. So first of all, Grand Blue. Uh, if you've been playing this game, we already have had two of these Grand Blue events. Uh, the theme of Grand Blue is uh, Undead Pirates. They, uh, you put the card specifically from the deck or your hand to the drop zone and then you call them back onto the field. Uh, so the strategy is manipulating the drop zone as an extra resource. The key cards are Chappie, Chappie the Ghosty. He's the best Ghosty uh, on call. You get to choose whatever card you want from your deck and then put it into your drop zone. So for example, you'll pull a Night Mist. Uh, Night Mist is, is a second card. Uh, Night Mist is a grade 2 8k. Um, its skill is uh, in, from the drop zone, you can counterblast one, retire any unit from your board, and call it back onto the field. Um, and additionally, if you have another Night Mist from the drop zone, uh, during your turn you get plus three. So it's an 11k attacker, it's an amazing utility, strong resource card, and uh, lets you set up those um, you know, uh, two intercept plays every single turn to maintain that defensive position. Last is uh, Kokaitis. Kokaitis is part of the new set. Um, it has a you know pretty distinct ride chain, riding from the drop zone, um, and then its skill is on place, Caramelize 2, call anything from the drop zone, and level break 4, when attacks, plus 5. It was pretty vanilla, but it's honestly one of the best boss that Grand Blue has so far. Um, it will have a reverse uh, cross ride, if you're familiar with that term, uh, coming soon, so be sure to check that out. Um, but it's not out yet, so yeah. Skill difficulty wise, 3 out of 5, the cards do pretty generic stuff, um, pretty straightforward, not too complicated, and it's a very defensive plan. Next is Spike Brothers. So Spike Brothers, is its theme is uh, Cray Football, so it's no longer American. Uh, these uh, outer worldly species are playing football as well, um, and their strategy is hit and run. So cards like Mega Trainer is an amazing starter, starting vanguard. Um, you know, it can search for PGs, search for your offensive grade 1 uh, pieces. Uh, Dudley Emperor, uh, Limit Break 4 on attack if it's boosted, plus 3. And then um, Counterblast 2, uh, put 1 card into your soul, call two, car two cards, any 2 cards from your deck to the field. Um, so if you do want multi attacks, um, you can enact a hit and run strategy where your first 2 attacks, your first 2 rewrite attacks go back to the, the, the deck. Dudley Emperor attacks, you call 2 more, so you get 5. Five attacks during one turn, and that's really a lot of pressure. Um, and lastly, you have Jelly Beans. Um, its skill is, uh, you know, you can put it back from your hand to the deck and search for any Dudley cards. Dudley cards, generally speaking, uh, most of them do, you know, on place Caramelized 1 plus 5. Um, and an honorable mention to Juggernaut Maximum and Brockies, uh, those cards help you do the hit and run, um, so they will definitely be important. Skill difficulty wise, it's a 4 out of 5. You really need to know when you push for game and do those offensive strategies because, you know, if you do put your regards back to the deck, um, it does mean that you're leaving yourself open for uh, your opponent's offense um, if you can't set up a proper intercept board again. Uh, so you need to have your timing correctly and set up your combos ahead of time because you generally the skills won't let you call onto other regards. Uh, it's on open regard circles, so you really need to know what you're doing and when you're doing it. Next is Neo Nectars. Uh, Neo Nectars uh, is uh, currently, it only has one clan event in Global, and uh, it's, it will be the next clan event coming soon to Global. Uh, its theme is Magical Plants. Uh, there are a few distinct archetypes, so it really depends on which playstyle you prefer. Um, but the two most distinct ones that will be coming soon is Cecilia, uh, the Musketeers, which will be having a lot of support moving forward, and Sephiroth, which will have less support, but is still a really valuable deck right now. And um, Gene is honestly one of the, uh, the surprise picks. Um, I put Gene because uh, it just works really well as a heal trigger. There's no other like good heal trigger targets in the uh, Neo Nectar deck. Um, its skill is on hit. You can put this, uh, you you can put this into the deck and then call two of its grade twos um, onto the field as rest. So what that means is, even if you're lacking resources, you can hit with it. 
uh, put a heal back into the deck and set up a double intercept uh, board for defensive plays. And so skill difficulty wise, right now I'd say 3 out of 5 because it's still pretty straightforward. But as we get more support um, and the deck gets a lot of more filtering skills, um, it gets more layered and more uh, difficult. And so, you know, if you are an um, intermediate player and you do want to challenge yourself and, and see how you improve, uh, Neo Nectar is definitely a clan to, to gauge that and see how much uh, knowledge you've accumulated from starting from now. And then, you know, as each clan event comes out. Uh, next, we're going to talk about the clans that are yet to be released in global that will be released in global. Right after Neo Nectar, we have Tachikaze. Tachikaze is dinosaurs, you know. And uh, their strategy is kind of similar to Shadow Paladins, where you, you know, you kill your own allies for bonuses. But, uh, you know, Tachikaze turns it up 100,000%. You know, it's all in for cannibalism. Uh, it's key cards, Raptor, Colonel, Dark Rex. Uh, they require killing your own rearguards for power and critical. Um, extra attacks, you know, um, and then you have cards that support that kind of strategy like Brachio Porter um, and like, you know, the other, the eggs and stuff, but Brachio Porter, I think the Brachio chain is the, um, personally, I think they're the most um, optimal ones because they let you, um, they give you a chance to multi-attack. Um, Brachio Porter's skill is when it gets retired, Cannibalist 1, uh, call the grade 2 onto the board, grade 2 calls the grade 3, and then I think the grade 3 calls the grade 1. So why I suggest this is because uh, Raptor Colonel and Dark Rex, um, they retire on battle phase. So Brachio Porter, you know, after it boosts in lane 1, you can retire it and call it in lane 3. And then it enables an extra attack uh, without an additional resource, as well as an intercept for your defensive turn. Skill difficulty wise, I'll put it at a 5 out of 5. Um, unlike, um, you know, clan like um, Spike Brothers that we discussed just now, uh, Tachikaze doesn't really have the, the search specific cards. They only can uh, um, they only can rely on you know cards like Brachio. And uh, you know, for example, you really need intercepts, you can't really do that if you don't have a Brachio or something. While Spike Brothers or Shadow Paladin, uh, they can search for stuff that they need more easily. And lastly, the latest clan to hit JP, Mega Colony. And this is a sleeper pick. Honestly, I haven't tried out the clan in Zero, but it looks to be the second best clan event um, that will hit Zero for now. And the reason why I say this is because um, uh, they adapted it really well to Zero, and Paralyze is no longer a really underwhelming skill. Um, the theme is Machine Insects. Uh, their strategy is to paralyze your opponent. So um, in two ways, Firstly, literally, you know, the keyword paralyze, which is so that your opponent's rearguards can't stand during their next turn. So um, they either leave it and they can't attack, or they step on top of it. Um, and either way, you make them choose between a lose or lose situation. It's not a direct retire, but it's a cheaper, it's generally a cheaper skill that makes your opponent choose how they want to minus themselves. Um, and then, you know, Toxic Trooper, the first card on the left. Um, its skill is, you know, this card can ignore intercept and hit face. So it paralyzes your opponent's intercepts, uh, in a way. Uh, then you have cards that plus as well, like Violent Vesper. This is like Babbed Car from Shadow Paladin on place, call the top card. It's great because you call one, you get another, and, uh, you know, some people do complain, you know, oh, I play a heal on Babbed Car when I hit a Babbed Car again. Oh, wow, I suck. Um, it sucks, you know. No. Don't think of it that way. Think of it as, you know, even if you drew into a heal, at least you get to plus from it, right? So, um, generally speaking, still difficulty wise, four out of five. It's um, it's tricky in the beginning to know the value of Paralyze and when you want to do it. Um, but once you get the hang of it and you know which key cards to Paralyze to make your opponent really think about their plays and punish them for it, it's really devastating, and uh, Kogi Ki. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you so much. Please be sure to uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, if you have tested any of these clans and you really enjoyed them, uh, let me know down below. If you didn't really like them, tell me how you feel about them. Uh, generally speaking, 
I do really enjoy these uh, clan events because some of these decks, like Mega Colony, I wouldn't have um, batted an eye without it being something that's more um, free to play friendly. To test, at least, I do think that it's harder to complete a clan event deck just because of the gem to pack ratio. Like 100 gems is less than one clan pack. But at the same time, you just get more, you know, rare materials and double rare materials and even free triple rare materials by doing the uh, dailies. So it really depends on how you feel about it. Um, I do think Game Studio needs to give newer players a catch-up mechanic to get the older triple rares. For example, if you play Grand Blue, um, and you know, you, even if you roll really well in the, in the new banner, you still need your Night Mist and you need you, you still need your Ruin Shades. Um, so yeah, definitely. Uh, will be interesting to see what they do, especially with, you know, Kokaida support and the you know, reverse support in general for like most of these clients. So anyways, so hope you enjoyed. Um, be sure to look out for my part two video where we properly look at to into the uh, Asia Circuit clans that will be coming right up. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.